Well, the winner of the category of scale up of the year in the $100,000 to $5 million category in, in terms of revenue is Indianapolis based Springbuck, a healthcare analytics firm. Phil Daniels is co founder uh, of Springbuck, and Rod Reason is the CEO. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What's driving growth? You're, it's, it's, it's been a phenomenal story that we've been following at Inside uh, Indiana Business, but Phil, if you could put your, your finger on what's really driving your growth. You know, I think, uh, I don't think it's a secret. I think just the rising you know, cost of healthcare, and really what we're seeing is just demographically within companies, just that shift of focus and culture where, where that employee health is an asset. And, and across the country, middle market, all the way up to enterprise companies are wanting to invest in that asset uh, and really protect it. And specifically, right, how, how does Springbuck, how does your, your model really uh, address that uh, for companies? Well, our, our solution helps employers understand uh, information that they didn't normally um, have access to. So we believe that through proper transparency, through good data science, we can expose opportunities that employers have that are literally at their fingertips. Mm -hmm. I think an interesting element of your growth story too is the fact you're attracting money from outside of Indiana. You're attracting talent from outside of Indiana, which is really kind of uh, on a bigger scale what Indiana is trying to trying to do. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, first of all, in terms of attracting investment. Sure. I, you know, the recent Series B announcement uh, that we had earlier in the year is really a testament just to the team, and I think kind of the the scale of the problem we're trying to solve. Um, you know, we're, we're running quickly and. And really trying to solve a big bite of healthcare. Uh, it's going to take some funding, funding to do that. Is VC people on the coast now beginning to recognize there's innovation that's that's happening in Indiana. Yeah, I think uh, we're seeing this Midwest thesis is kind of the, the yeah. popular word where where they see you know smart, you know, highly ethical people uh, you know wanting wanting to roll up their sleeves and work and and build uh, build real businesses here and, and it's been a testament to that. How about in terms of talent? Because uh, obviously you know everybody wants to keep talent. But we also need to attract talent, and that means not just from around Indiana, from really around the globe. What are you sure. seeing in terms of being able to attract talent from other places? Sure. So cer certainly, after our Series B, we had a lot of uh, job applicants that came from the local area. But what was really surprising to us is how much the high level of technical talent, um, not just in engineering, but in health economy, um, data science, bioinformaticians, from outside the state that are l interested in coming here. And, and most recently, we've actually hired people from the San Francisco Bay Area that are moving to Indianapolis to be part of our startup. Is, is that a, a byproduct of uh, obviously a great company like yours, but also the fact that there's beginning to be a clustering of companies, more companies, more opportunities in a quality of life here? Sure, I mean, it's no secret that just that watershed effect from the sales force and now Infosys with their announcements today, you know, that, that impacts the whole community and ecosystem, and, and we know we're just a, a small player in it. Where do you see growth going? Where do you see the next five to 10 years? When you look on the horizon, what are you, what are you looking at? <laughs> okay, who Lots of secrets first? there. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, we, we, we obviously see a lot of opportunity. Healthcare costs have not gone down um, for, for many years. I don't know that they actually have ever gone down. And uh, so employers are ever tasked with being able to control this cost. You can't continue to push off cost to the employee. And so the employers are saying, what can I do? Our solution gives them an opportunity to say, here's something I can actually do that gives me an opportunity, not just years in the future, but today. Yep. Springbuck is a multiple award winner at this year's Mira Awards. Scale up of the year in the 100,000 to 5 million revenue uh, category. Phil Daniels, Rod Reason, thanks very much and congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.